But this wasn't the mission. The missions changed. They always do. Welcome to Mojo Play's News Roundup, where we bring you the biggest gaming news of the week. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long. So, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. News Bites While celebrating their 10th anniversary, Creative Assembly officially announced they were developing a sequel to 2014's Alien Isolation. Primarily known for their work on the Total War series, Creative Assembly's Alien Isolation was praised for its attention to detail in recreating Ridley Scott's hard sci-fi atmosphere and the retro-futuristic technology of the films. The most impressive aspect, however, remains the titular alien itself. Stalking players throughout the Nostromo, the Xenomorph's AI made navigating the empty corridors one of the tensest experiences in gaming and remains one of the most anxiety-inducing to date. Announced as early in development, it might be quite a while until we once again narrowly survive an encounter with the perfect organism. You're still looking, aren't you? The Avatar The Last Airbender series has no shortage of video game adaptations, but none that really capture the world of Aang and his friends navigating the various other elemental kingdoms. Another title announced as early in development, Saber Interactive, in collaboration with the original Avatar creators, looked to tell a brand new story with a new Avatar set thousands of years before Aang and his adventures. The game is described as a AAA RPG with an open world in which players will master all four elements alongside a fresh set of companions where their choices can affect the narrative. Fans have had to deal with a lot of soulless cash grabs over the years, even to the point of attempting to create their own games to relive the series, but their patience might finally pay off with a true Avatar experience. Konami has finally been doing the Metal Gear IP justice with the release of the Master Collection and the upcoming remake of Metal Gear Solid 3, but it seems Snake might be stealthing his way on a new adventure, according to Snake voice actor David Hayter himself. He posted on X that he was in the recording booth for, quote, a role he hadn't played since, dot dot dot, followed by a gif of the upcoming Metal Gear Solid Delta. Hayter famously didn't return to play Snake in Metal Gear Solid 5, much to his and fans' dismay. And while narratively this decision did end up making sense, Hayter's raspy delivery was nonetheless missed. Konami has made it very clear they want to continue with the Metal Gear series, and with Delta being a one-to-one -one remake, even reusing the same audio from the 2004 original, there's every possibility this could be a new title or epilogue in the franchise, setting up future entries. Hater doesn't seem to be the only one returning to Metal Gear either, as Major Zero actor Jim Piddock stated earlier this year, quote, I am Major Zero and always will be, over and out. Let's just hope whatever it is fares better than Metal Gear Survive. Your codename for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. The clock is ticking. While the rest of gaming is suffering massive and constant layoffs, From Software once again shows the rest of the industry how it's done. Instead of laying off hundreds of developers amid record profits, they have instead rewarded these hardworking devs for their dedication. FromSoft announced they would be increasing all its employee salaries by roughly 15% going into effect in April 2025. The developer stated this decision was to let employees feel rewarded for their work and be able to concentrate on the development of their next game rather than the financial responsibilities of their everyday lives. Following the resounding success of Elden Ring, FromSoft recently released their enormous expansion Shadow of the Earth Tree to equally widespread critical and financial success. Series creator Hidetaka Miyazaki also stated that he doesn't feel like Elden Ring is his masterpiece, but that he is getting close to achieving that dream. Even more PlayStation remasters? What is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. It would seem that Sony isn't done milking their glory days for a quick cash grab if what developer Nixies, the team behind the upcoming Horizon Zero Dawn remastered, says is true. Days Gone was also rumored to be receiving a remaster, and despite being a no-show at Sony's latest state of play, according to sources, it is still in the works. While there's every possibility these additional upcoming remasters could pull from Sony's extensive back catalog, we'll have to wait and see if Sony sees any of their long dormant properties viable enough for a re-release on modern hardware. And on this day, the man, the legend, Kratos, will have his revenge. One series that has long been rumored to receive the coveted remaster treatment could finally see a full release just in time for the series' 20th anniversary. 
According to insider leaks, there are multiple remasters currently being worked on for the original God of War games, from the 2005 original to 2013's Ascension. While we would love to relive Kratos' Greek adventures on our modern consoles without Sony's spotty streaming, it would be a massive undertaking to remaster six games for a complete collection, despite many of the titles still holding up well even today. Sony is currently celebrating the PlayStation's 30th anniversary, and considering how important the God of War series is and Kratos' status as a PlayStation icon, fans could receive something to celebrate this impressive milestone. You let this happen to me. Did you think I would forgive? Ubisoft buyout rumors confirmed. Safe filled with 157 million credits, and I can get you inside. It seems that Ubisoft just can't keep themselves out of the news lately. Fresh off the announcement that Assassin's Creed Shadows would be delayed until February 2025, comes news that Ubisoft could be considering a buyout by majority shareholder Tencent. Over the last year in particular, Ubisoft's share prices have plummeted to all-time lows, leading some investors to pressure the publisher to seek other options, including taking the company private or outright selling to a private investor in order to recoup some of their significant losses. CEO Yves Guimot acknowledged these buyout rumors, stating the company was examining all strategic options in the interest of its stakeholders. However, this strategic option is looking more and more likely as even just the rumored buyout caused Ubisoft's stock price to increase by 40% in only a week's time. Amid numerous layoffs, as well as their most recent titles underperforming financially, the publisher has also been the subject of multiple toxic workplace allegations and numerous unannounced game cancellations. A number of failed NFT initiatives and attempts to break into the live service market does not inspire confidence in the developers, with shareholders and gamers feeling jaded by the Ubisoft formula. And pull off the greatest heist the Outer Rim has ever seen. Halo's relaunch of a relaunch. You have one bullet against an entire army. It's enough. In a we'll-believe-it-when-we-see-it announcement, 343 Industries, the studio behind the Halo franchise since Bungie left to follow another destiny in 2012, announced that they were rebranding themselves as Halo Studios. That's not all, though, as they are switching from the studio's proprietary Slipspace engine to Unreal Engine 5 for all future entries. After a disastrous first gameplay showing, 343 pulled an ugly Sonic and delayed the game a year to retool the visuals, leaving the brand new Xbox Series consoles without a major first-party exclusive. Infinite ended up performing well, both critically and financially, but interest quickly faded with the ridiculously long wait between multiplayer seasons, as well as the bizarre decision to forego the wildly popular and expected Battle Royale mode. 343 has long been criticized for their handling of the Halo IP, from rewriting lore to a bizarre marketing campaign for Halo 5 that turned out to be completely false advertising. As of now, fans have very little confidence remaining that 343 can properly revive the Halo franchise. These sentiments have continued with their most recent announcement of the studio's rebrand. Fans see this as nothing more than that, a rebrand of a studio with too much baggage attached to it and with no significant changes being made on how they approach the IP. While the footage shown off in Unreal Engine 5 was impressive, showcasing recreations of iconic locations from the original Halo trilogy, the studio announcing they were hiring for new developers was especially tone-deaf considering it laid off almost 100 employees a little over a year ago. According to Halo Studios themselves, the team is currently working on multiple Halo projects, but only time will tell if these updates to the Halo franchise are more than just the expected visual fluff. Is everyone trying to kill you? It kinda seems like it. Thanks for watching. Check out more great videos here.